Welcome to the Bosnia and Herzegovina vlog today back down by the river and some more um, drone training self training um, I'm getting more confident with it now I uh, have been worried about it going in the drink basically so I'm still using a pad I'm borrowing uh, Tam's iPad but I think I've got some good shots today. I've tried to do dronies, um, but with the pad, it and and the iPhone as well, it, um, it doesn't go all that high, 50 meters. Well, that's not too bad, really. But then it goes out of signal range, and then with distance, um, it says it will go 100 meters on the pad, but it doesn't really. And the last thing I want to do is uh, have the drone go in the River Burbas. But uh, I've got a bit courageous. Now I've got to get up this slope. I've got my Berkeys on, which aren't the best things. And yet, a few more paces along and I was able to do it. So yeah, I'm getting used to it. I keep saying that. Can't wait till I can save up the shekels to get uh, the controller. I think I'm gonna feel a lot better with it because when you're using the screen, you know, your thumb and forefinger can get a bit greasy, especially today, 38. You can see it behind me, 38. And uh, what you gotta do is hit one wrong part of the screen and she could go down, Kadoosh. Uh, and that would be an expensive mistake, very expensive mistake. I had a comment recently that I was good with uh, using the drone. I'm far from good. In fact, I'm pretty mediocre. And <laughs> to tell you the truth, when we came out today, when I came out today, there's a football field not too far away from the house. Big open space. One tree. And, uh, yep. I... Uh, set the point to home under the uh, branches so we had a tree crash terrifying because uh, it fell about five six meters uh, and it ended up on the ground I was looking at it and I thought no no because we're going to Perchin soon going to Montenegro in fact next week stay in touch with the vlogs for that um, going to KOTOR Hopefully going to go to Lovchen, which is one of the big mountains. And um, I'd like to take some aerial footage of the lake, but that will test my courage and my resolve, trust me. I am petrified of uh, losing my drone. The $500, okay, that's what? 500 pounds now, I think with a new exchange rate and I can't afford to give away um, 500 pounds just like that but it's a good combo for vlogging having this my uh, one plus three mobile device and uh, the DJI Osmo mobile stabilizer I know you said what was that behind you that you were walking past Sweet corn or maize. Looks like a lot of it's been picked off already. <laughs> I'm only telling you this because I get to stand under the shade for five minutes. Thank you for making me stand under the shade. If you bother to read the uh, about me section of my YouTube, the blog, Instagram or anywhere else, where I seem to pop up. I talk a lot about culture and I need to do more culture. 
So in about 10 minutes, we will not film the whole 10 minutes. In about 10 to 15 minutes, I'll take some shots from the road of Bosnian haystacks or Balkan haystacks. Totally different from those in North America and uh, way, way, way different from those where I come from in the United Kingdom. But I'm just going to, where are we? I just want to show you this. Most months of the year, this is full of water, fast flowing water. This is a Turanitsa, I think I pronounced that right, that flows into the Verbas where I just was, just down there. And you can see that the farmers drive their uh, tractors across the riverbed to get to their fields on the other side. About three or four years ago, we were going for a walk uh, at the other end uh, of this little river. Um, and it was at, like this time of year, where the, because of the heat, uh, it was more of a, a dry riverbed. And there was a dead wild boar in it. How random was that? Frightening, actually. Those things can really do you serious damage. <laughs> if one comes out here now, I'll have a viral YouTube video, I think. Some more shade, and I just felt a uh, quite strong breeze. So maybe what I've just been talking about was all just smashed with the wind going over the microphone. If it has, I don't know at this stage because I haven't done any edit. I can feel it now. But hopefully it was <laughs> enough to understand. Right, no trees now for over a kilometer. So these are Balkan haystacks. And basically there's a frame under there, very simple, like a, a teepee that uh, North American first generation people would have used. And then the grass is put on there with a certain bit of skill, I have to say. And that's it. How cool is that? So throughout the village now, there are these grey concrete poles. And they're a recent addition, they used to be wood. But this carries telephone and electricity. So nothing under the ground. All, I hope this is not blur, the sun isn't getting too much in the camera here. But we get our electricity um, from a little branch tower, which actually is near our house. And then it comes down this whole row of poles and then the branches go off to the different houses. There's still a huge amount of infrastructure to do with getting power and telephone lines or supplies to a 21st century standard. The infrastructure, um, I think, was poor to start with. People do argue with me about that. But I think, under the shade again, um, after the conflict of the uh, 1990s, uh, a lot of this had to start again because as the different ethnic groups attacked each other's villages out of acts of spite or maybe I can't see the military tactical purpose of it but nevertheless they would pull down the power you know the power posts and everything so that if anybody did want to come back to that village they certainly wouldn't have power they try and disrupt the water and everything else. And these sort of things happen when people sort of have a civil war. I mean, it is sad, it should never have happened. Lots of things should never have happened. But it did, so we have to talk about it, otherwise we're just rewriting history. But it's nice to see everything coming on. It's taken decades to get this far. Uh, remember the country's totally broke. But we do get power cuts. Uh, we had one yesterday. Sometimes we've had them for a day, sometimes just for a few hours. The wind is blowing across the microphone, I know, so you won't pick up the little noises, but that is crackling. I've just walked under it and sometimes I think, I wonder what it does to my body. 
There must be tens of thousands of volts running through there. Off to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Just thought I'd show you this. This used to be, I think it still is, the well. When I first moved here, we weren't on mains water. We are now. I think we used to have to put things down there. I can't remember, or maybe this slab didn't exist. But yeah. Ha! That was a shock for the city boy. Definitely. Place to take a break. 1.0. place to take a break 2.0 so that's where we get our power from that tower there things that would affect that tower one a direct hit through lightning when we have a storm loads of snow um, on the cables and we do get power outages still so that's it for this vlog the Bosnian Herzegovina blog episode 12, maybe. Right, one final dash from uh, this shade until I get to the house. Um, please don't forget, if you wouldn't mind sharing, subscribing, liking, comments, great. Thank you for everybody that started doing that. And uh, yeah, catch you next time. Bye for now. Yeah.